To recap so far, we've talked about place of articulation and manner of articulation. But how can we differentiate between words like that and fat? The m sound and the f sound in these words are both labiodental and they're both fricatives. What about the s in su and z in zu? They're both alveolar fricatives. So the answer is voicing. So touch your throat as you say z as in zu. Do you feel the vibration? That's your vocal cords. When your vocal cords vibrate, we call that a voiced sound. Touch your throat while you say s as in su. There's no vibration. These types of sounds are called voiceless. Try saying bath. Is the vinyl sound voiced or voiceless? Now try saying the word bathe. Is the final sound voiced or voiceless? And the word bath, the final sound is voiceless. And the word bathe, the final sound is voiced. So let's look at the face diagrams or sagittal sections. If you look closely, you'll see that some of these are written with a zigzag line in the throat and some are written with two dashes with a space in between. The zigzag line represents voiced sounds and the two dashes represent voiceless sounds. So let's analyze this diagram. Is it voiced or voiceless? Since we see a zigzag line, we know it's voiced. Now, what is the place of articulation? Since the lips are touching, we know that it's bilabial. What is the manner of articulation? Since the lips are closed, we know that it's a stop. And finally, is it an oral or nasal sound? Since we see that the soft palate is closed, blocking passage through the nasal cavity, we know that it's an oral sound. So this is a b sound, as in boy. All right, you ready for another one? Is this voiced or voiceless? Since we see the zigzag line, we know it's voiced. What is the place of articulation? Since the lips are touching, we know that it's bilabial. What is the manner of articulation? Since the lips are closed, we know it's a stop. And finally, is it an oral or nasal sound? Since we see that the soft palate is open, allowing air to go through the nasal cavity, we know that it's a nasal sound. So this is a m sound, as in man. All right. That's all for voicing. Next, we'll talk about one more differentiating characteristic, aspiration.